Welcome to uh, Hii, Hawaii. Uh, today we're hunting with Corey Seagal. Hey, Corey. Morning. Hey, um, you know, the first question that we all want to know is how long you been hunting for? Uh, since I was six years old. My grandfather showed me the ropes, taught me what I want, showed me how to live off the land. And you're pretty much currently active in hunting? Oh, yeah. Well, so right now, I know I know we've, we've, we've called you up. We want to fulfill this. You know, doing a wild cattle hunt with you and show us. You know, we wanted to see how how you do them, and I, it's. I know for me, I'm excited about it. But <clears throat> when we was driving down, we seen. I've I've noticed a lot of cattle, mm -hmm. and especially for the people watching, I don't want them to. To think, ah, oh, they only hunting, tame cattle, you know. But I can you explain to can you explain to me what is, how can we tell the difference between the wild cattle. And t the tame cattle. Well, cattle, you can tell them from the domestic ones because they usually red and white. They get on bigger front end. Uh -huh. Their back usually slims down. They get broad shoulders. Like the domestic ones, they usually like black, mm -hmm. and white, and whatnot. Okay. All different colors. So, so what you're telling me is that the mo the the majority of the wild cattle is red and white. Yeah, it's the what old is the Hereford what is, breed. The old Hereford breed. Yeah. Now that breed right there, correct me if I'm wrong, it was actually one gift to the king. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. Now I guess after generations they just multiply. Multiply, multiply. Okay. And with with that cattle, what what does it? What kind of effect does it have on regular tame cattle? You get that wild instinct in them. So like usually if they come into your pasture or whatnot, they breed with your tame ones. Your tame ones gonna get the genetics of that wild blood. Kind of like screws up your bloodline. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. yeah. Now, is there something that we gotta watch for when when we are hunting? You know, I mean, what they gonna just look at us? I mean, how? Some they usually check you out. They come close, look at you, then they start peeling off. Some they're real dominant. Like they come after you. Cause I remember you just was telling that that when we was coming down had some nice had some nice kind already that we seen. Yeah. But you said, oh, that one's they just pound. If you stay right on the four wheeler, they just pound you off. Oh yeah, they come for you. Okay, well, I guess now it's all about going for Trying the hunt. Them. Yeah. So check them out. See what we'll do is see how Corey goes hunting. How's it gang? Right now he's on a bunch of wild cattle. Right now we try to get as close as possible. Just see if we can get a good shot. Hang on. Okay guys, right now I whack him in the... Got a bad shot in the neck. I tried shooting him two times, but they didn't fall. So he's kind of going down. But right now, you gotta really watch, because now they get real aggressive, because they injured him. So, hang on, let you see what you can do. Try to come up close and get on. Let's have a shot. Just a lead, huh? I wonder if he stayed right in a puka. That's why he didn't go for him, but then. No, it's really sad. But he's making it in the Down for That's him. Not a cow. Not a cow. He's 
Pretty up. Oh no, down. Okay, see ya. One shot, one kill. That one should be up here, isn't it? Well, Corin, that was right on, right? that was an exceptionally excellent, exciting hunt, especially knowing that this cattle can come and rush at any time. And that was pretty cool for actually get you doing, you know, shooting on something this this big with just with a thirty thirty. That's pretty good. Um, I, I noticed that we seen some other cattle, eh? Yeah. Coming, you know, some other some jack boos. Aggressive, dominant. But you can see, gang, nice one right here. Um, nice cow. I'd say how 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 heavy you think? Yeah, this bug gonna be like five hundred. 500 pounds. Ooh, pounds. This, this right here is going to fill up. Ooh. Some hamburger, pipi cola. Yeah, yeah. Anything you recommend cooking with this right here? You can make teriyaki, stew meat, hamburger, pipi cola. Like they say, don't panic, it's organic. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we're going to be doing is skinning this bad boy out. As soon as we're done, uh, we'll try to see if we can find some more. If not, um, join us for, the, for us cooking them. Right on. See you. What is it? You see choke flies. So Corin said fanning them. He just didn't catch the front section. I catch it on a brisket. On a brisket area. We're not gonna be taking the ribs on this one. We caught a few ways that we gotta be packing this one, all this meat out. So you can see, they caught a few meat already. Full load, gang. All right. <laughs> oh, Vikings. Oh, gee. Down, down, down. You can shoot one more. So now we're going to them, bleed them. Right. Check it out. This is a burro. Look up. Nice one, Corey. Right on, right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. Next. Oh, I'm already on the one.
Go on, Gary. One big impressive bull shot here by Corey. Um, you can see how huge he is. Um, Corey, what happened on this one? This one had to go double shot. Ran away, track blood, found him dead. <laughs> but yeah, he's all in the Tico Louis, but we was able to actually pull him out and and now he's, he's all in the pasture. So what we're gonna be doing is we late already. We're gonna hurry up and skin him up. I'll get him out, get him all dressed up, and um, get him processed. We're out. Right on, gang, we caught what? What we caught? One bull, one, one bull, half one half one. Half. Um, both of them was big. Okay. Choke meat. Choke meat, all the coolers all filled up. Thank you, Corey, for a wonderful experience. Right. Um, thank you for all that meat. Oh, the other thing is this. Filled up. And burger, pipi cola for days, tidy choy and rice. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is, I guess later on, we'll actually ha do hamburgers with all that meat and then- Hamburger, some pipi cola. Make some teriyaki slices with the Stew slicer meat. and all that, stew meat. And we're gonna be actually joining Corey down at his, at, his, at his house for actually doing that. But anyway, it's been a wonderful day, nice weather, nicely overcast, wasn't blazing hot. Yeah. So, right. Yeah, everything would actually work out. And good thing, um, uh, my hunting partner Chuck actually came down to help us out too with this. Big help. So, like they say, don't panic, it's organic. <laughs> Aloha. See you. So, we're down here at one of our local um, drive ins, and we just got done hunting with Corey. We had a wonderful time. Uh, we caught some nice, beautiful animals. So the next thing that we'll be doing is actually processing all that. Um, but anyway, before even going through that, um, people been requesting, um, some of the viewers requesting to see um, some of the old hunts that we have. And we have a crap load of videos that we, we have in our archives. And um, some is on, on the internet and some, you know, some isn't even, um, we, we didn't even put it on. But what we're gonna show you right now is um, the two friends that I brought hunting, and this is what, like the first or second time that they, that I ever took them hunting, and uh, what we went hunting for is some wild pigs. So enjoy that clip, and uh, um, come and join us back. Shoot. Today's day, December 29. Here you go, right, straight, the bottom. Today, you see that sunset rising. All right, let's go out. Oh, 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 Sound like a pretty good size ball. Look how fast. The pig is on.
Stay what say on stand by or record? Record? Yeah. Yeah. I think see R E C. Yeah? Okay. Go down, go down, go down. Because there are any guys, they told me when I stab you gotta go for that man. Bro. Oh. Balls like that, you like always go for the throat. Sounds like that, you go for the for the neck. Good dog, good dog. You see how fast we can die, eh? Well, uh can okay, you see a good size ball? Uh, well, who's answering this one? Uh, when it's not like I know how to pick down side, we're not, but we're not too sure if it was a dog or, um, or, or like I said, like I know how to pick. But, like I said, right there on who says boy, uh, today we get the two brothers, Brian and Michael. And what I'm gonna do, uh, let them break me with a ball first time they come haunting me, that's why. So, whenever you ready, second. O'Brien second, Mike first time with me. Yep. So. <laughs> you can see? Not bad size boy. Uh, what you ask for me, O'Brien? Maybe. Go ahead to the picture. 180. 180. Not this freak guy is heavy. Nah, I said, oh, 160. And this way is more than Michael, and he's 170. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can see good size boy. Uh, I'll just hurry up and put on this camera so I can take picture. So, if you get action again, hold on. Welcome back, gang. Okay, so we just got done watching that, that while we're hunting with, with my friends Mike and Brian. And you can see that, uh, I was trying to explain to them that when you go for stab pigs, the best thing for do is for boars, is actually go for the vitals. And for sows, you can go for the throat. The reason why you want to go for the, the vitals for the boars, especially if they get big tusks, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a safety issue. And you don't, you don't want to go ahead and, and go to the throat and it just just so happened that boy ended up just turning around spinning you and you end up getting cut and I can honestly say that that happened to me and I had learned my lesson but anyway um, what we'll be going into is the cooking segment of the show um, that will be with Corey again and we'll be grinding up some hamburger meat so enjoy the rest of the show and we'll see you guys later on so we're here today with Corey what we're doing today is actually processing the whole meat and actually, Corey's gonna actually go ahead with the whole process and explain everything on how they do everything. As you can see, we cut them all, cut all the bad parts out, cut them out into strips, running through the machines to make them a little faster. So now I'm gonna bring them over here, add some meat. Some nice and burger. And then right here, right here we get some mushroom burgers, some bacon deer wraps, put some green onions. Um, some egg. <laughs> We're just cooking up whatever they make. All wild, wild game. Um, that's about it. We gotta eat. We gotta eat. Don't panic. It's organic. <laughs> you can see it's all full pound bag, gallon size. The burgers, the big families. This one's area is all two pounds, part size. And then you call it a big bunch. 
and then the rest all over here. Ready to make some burgers, chili, spaghetti, and whatnot. But I'm deep laying a whole yo. It comes down to this point where you got this fresh ajio burgers and this fresh ajio deer meat straight from Molokai. Um, all it just is now, it's just time to eat it. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. I think so nothing can beat eating fresh, fresh and heal cattle straight from the mountain. Thank you so much to Corey taking us out, out hunting and showing us what he does. I think so that's, that's, that was an um, excellent experience. You see all the food right there that, that we just processed. Thank you. Excellent. Well, until next time, you're going to see much more of us and more of other people, what, what they do in their lives. So until then, gang, aloha. Hello, gang. I'm being impressive, boom. Before I just shot it, she just... Hey, look. Can you see the leaf is tough? So, make sure you look up. Should have a cattle. Very tough. Yeah. <laughs> Please get dentures. Not recommended. Thank you. Okay, we're ready. Today with Corey Sigawa. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'm moving to the internet. Sorry, she got Facebook. And not corn. Not corn. Of course. Here today we corn. Corn, meat, strips, there, hamburger, mushroom burger, there, wraps. Here. Oh, that catchy. I gotta help you. Keep running, now. Wait, you gotta feed. Yeah, running. You gotta feed. Yeah. Just keep it running, act like get the machine going in the background and talk. And then that way when your brother come over to you guys, then then you guys can start throwing them, you know, throwing in the meat because he'll bring this pan. He's gonna bring this pan over there. That was it. So you can see guys. Say something stupid like you always say. No, we're not gonna say stuff. Wow, I really 